Triad Endeavour TV here, Triad Sports and Entertainment, and this is just a little video for you guys uh, talking about boxing lately. Uh, currently, in 2021, we don't have too many big matchups coming up, so I'm not going to talk about anything specific, but I want to just talk about big money fights, and particularly I want to talk about Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Now, this is a prime example of a fight that could potentially be lost and it's the fight of the century it literally is the fight of this generation now Anthony Joshua is currently he holds um, at least three belts I believe maybe four and Tyson Fury has one don't quote me on that but the point is these two are the men that are required to find out who is the number one the absolute number one lineal champion in the world now one side Tyson Fury clearly wants the fight and the other side Anthony Joshua says he wants the fight however he has a promoter in Eddie Hearn who comes in the way and has done everything in his power so far to avoid the fight slip the fight and just keep going round and round in circles and the main point of this video is anyone who sees this you should know, doesn't matter if you're an expert in boxing or if you're just a casual fan. The fans deserve these types of fights. Literally, this is what we live for. Literally, as a die-hard combat sports fan, you live for fights like this. It's actually the defining fight of this generation, of the heavyweights. And currently, we have a very tasty heavyweight scene in world boxing. It's really, really looking good. A lot of top prospects coming through. Um, but the current two at the top, there was three. One got knocked off, Deontay Wilder. There's two at the top of the mountain right now. In my personal opinion, Tyson Fury's number one. However, there's clearly two guys here. One guy in Anthony Joshua with huge punching power. Massive knockout ability. Great mover, great boxer, classical uh, GB boxing style, sharp jabs, um, just basic fundamental style, crosses and hooks, mix up the combinations. He's got grit, he's got heart, he's got the mental game as well. And then on the other side, we've got Tyson Fury. Mentally, he is on another level. His boxing IQ is so, so high, so uh, superior to most guys out there. Uh, his understanding of what to do in the ring, his movement, um, his feints he uses. Tyson Fury really has a special, unique uh, kind of style that requires a lot of movement, a lot of uh, herky-jerky movements, uh, feinting, and confusing his opponent. So we've got two excellent styles here. We've got the Matador versus the Bull. Joshua's going to be trying to knock him out all the way through this. And while... Um, Fury, sorry, is going to be moving around, he's going to be making Joshua mess, he's going to be doing all these different things, and he also has power as well, if he's able to push you back, as we've seen against Wilder. So, I broke down the fight a little bit, but most people know this. Most people know this is the best fight um, that can happen right now. All boxing fans are dying. So, why isn't it happening? Or, why is it taking so long for it to happen? As people have started talking about it now. It's purely just down to politics and boxing. And Eddie Hearn has tried everything in his power for the fight to not happen so far. He claims that they want the fight. However, they've tried everything to avoid it. And now this year, this fight should absolutely happen. Don't tell the fans, oh, we're going to do a two-fight deal. And we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Give us what we want. Give us one fight. If it's an amazing fight, the fans will ask for another fight. The fans will demand it. Boxing, combat sports, these sports always go by public demand. The fight, the fight fans demand it, the fight happens. Recent years, small example. Floyd Mayweather Jr. fought Marcus Maidana. The fight was really close, the first one. Maidana was getting a lot of success in there. The fans demanded a rematch. Floyd done it straight away. Because uh, he kind of had to. But the fact that the fans demanded it made it happen. And that's one example of many I could give you over the years. Now this fight, we're not even getting the first fight. Never mind a rematch or a trilogy bout. We're not even getting the first fight. 
So I just want boxing fans to understand that we're actually being starved of the best fights in the world right now. By now, um, Wilder, Fury and Joshua should have all fought each other. Probably done two, all done one or two fights with each other by now, a round robin by now. But we're being starved of these fights. These great, like, epic, epic battles of heavyweight. That we just, everyone's dying to see. You talk about boxing dying off, but it's because of stupid stuff like this. And then you want to put on terrible fights like Ryan Garcia versus Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell was always going to get smoked by him. I said it months and months ago. It's a terrible fight. I mean, kudos to Garcia. He wants to go in and fight Gervonta Davis next. And he's pushing for the fight. But that's what we need now. We need the power of social media. The fans need to use these outlets and get your voice heard. Talk about the sport. If you care about the sport, let people know. Make your voice heard. Um, so we can together we can try and change boxing and change it from this political nonsense to the best fighting the best and what the fans want is happening. Never mind these promoters like Eddie Hearn and all these other people rinsing fighters, making two fight contracts to guarantee to milk them for two fights and all this kind of stuff that just prolongs things and makes things complicated. We're fans, we want to watch fights. Simple as that, we want the best fights. Look, Muhammad Ali behind me here. Uh, Fought the best of the best in that era. Everybody fought each other. Do you know what I mean? Of this era, we could have our very own Rocky Balboa and fucking Apollo Creed. Honestly, but in my opinion, Tyson Fury wipes the floor with them. But we deserve to see that fight. So, support the channel. We're going to be bringing you more videos on a regular basis um, on all combat sports. We're tried Endeavour TV, sports and entertainment. Um... Follow us on all social media channels, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok, and we will be bringing you another video tomorrow.